Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be looking at Phantom FDM. Is there any hope? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start us off on the weekly time frame here. And just to uh, preface this video, I've never actually looked at Phantom before. I uh, had a request to take a look at that, so we're going to do swing it here and see what we can come up with. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like it, share it, do all that other stuff. And also I've got a Twitter account. Uh, you can find the link down in the description below. Would appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Weekly time frame here. So what I can see is we were either running in this channel, which you can see by the yellow lines here. Um, this guy right here. So Phantom was either running in this channel for quite a while, and it had a massive run-up. I mean, this thing, man, this was nice. Boy, if you got in, even right around in here, so from the bottom to the top, holy cow. <laughs> that would have been nice. Uh, so yeah, you're looking at less than a penny, all the way up to $3.35. Boy, that made some people some millionaires. I wish I would have got into this... Uh, even down here, shoot, even up here around a penny, that would have been pretty nice. Anyway, we didn't, I didn't anyways. So either it was running in this uh, sideways channel, moving to the upside, and we finally broke out back in, or broke down, I should say, back in May of 2022, which also dropped us below the 50 weekly EMA, uh, or, or if you remove this channel, uh, I don't know. Kind of looks like a rising wedge to me. And I'm actually going to delete this channel because I kind of think this is what's going on with Phantom. So had this big old run up, created this rising wedge, lost momentum right here uh, at $2.71, roughly, sorry, $3.20 something cents. And this was back on October 18th of 2021, which you can also see that back then you had on the RSI a bearish divergence. So you got the RSI going down, but you've got the price going up. And so we had a bearish divergence there on the weekly chart. And so that's kind of why I think that this is actually what's going on here. And so we lost momentum. So if we take our Fibonacci's and we go from bottom to top here, uh, this top, we came down and we tested the 382 perfectly and then we kept going up. Okay, that's great. That's super bullish. Anything at the 382 on the Fibonacci, if you can find support, fantastic. <clears throat> now let's move to the next one here, bottom to top. Okay, again, we uh, came down to the 382. Boy, that is pretty good. Actually, that is a little bit surprising that we didn't go higher. I can only imagine that we fell because maybe Bitcoin dropped. Um, I, like I said, I really haven't had the time to look this thoroughly through here. But um, yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised because we still had a 382 on that. Uh, unless, unless, I mean, this is the weekly, unless you consider this the next one here. And then we came... And now we tapped the 786 right here, which would make more sense, actually. So we came up, tapped the 786, went up again. And as you can see, just barely on the weekly, it kind of looks like we didn't, yeah, so we didn't get a new high. So we went up and then we got really rejected here. And the, I mean, you knew that this was over. I, I If I was looking at this chart at the time, once I saw this red on the braid filter and the cross on the um, RSI down here, uh, I would have just assumed that this run was over. Uh, you get all these green histograms in a row. So, I mean, look at this. So even over here, you get the green histograms. You did get this one red. That was kind of a fake out. But then again, you just had one more quick pump and then the drop. So then you get this red right here and then you fall. And since this is the weekly, from that red braid filter... I mean, sure, you could have got a 50% move to the upside, but you had a, well, I guess it's only a 38% move to the downside from there. Still, uh, once this came, things were not looking good. Plus, you had the bearish divergence coming in. And the problem here with Phantom is the chart, in my opinion, looks really bad. 
Uh, in my opinion, it looks like, let's use this, a possible head and shoulders coming in right here. It's a really ugly one. Um, they don't have to be pretty, but if this did play out and you had this head and shoulders, which is what it looks like to me, uh, then you're going exactly to the price target I would have said. Because if this is a rising wedge, the price target is the bottom of the rising wedge, which is right down here. And the price target of this head and shoulders brings you exactly down to the bottom of this rising wedge. That, man, that's, yeah, that's not a nice looking chart. Um, that would be, I would say, 60% chance that this happens. Maybe even 70% chance that this happens. If price action gets below 19 cents and you close a daily or a weekly under 19 cents, I'm going to assume that this is going to happen. So it looks like we had a little attempt to go up, but it was very weak is the other problem. So from this top to the bottom, we couldn't even get to the 382 on the Fibonacci. So that's telling me that that's a pretty weak move. Uh, and there's a lot of um, force to the downside. Also, the RSI, you had a crossover. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can try and see it here. You had this crossover. And, it, and normally it cro it'll cross and then it'll come back down and retest this, uh, this moving average here. And it is right now. But if it, like I said, if it falls to 19 cents, then that's, that is going to fall through the moving average. And you're going to lose this whole structure here. And so you want the RSI to hold on to that moving average. And you also want this to bounce up. Now, if you are into Phantom uh, and you want some kind of hopium here, I can give you a little bit. It's, in my opinion, maybe 30 to 40% chance of it happening. But on the weekly, your hopium is a double bottom. So either this was a bear flag, which, you know, if it's not a head and shoulders, it could very well be a bear flag. And so let's find out the price target of this bear flag, which would bring you down to reach this top right here. So the bear, if it is a bear flag, and it's not the head and shoulders, you're looking at around just over four cents. Maybe these wicks to maybe this wick up here, this little wick, and that's where your target is. That's just not very good support, in my opinion, that wick. Um, you'd find better support down here at the candle bodies, which is just around four cents, which is probably where this price target should be. I still think that the head and shoulders would play out and your price target is going to be all the way down at a penny, maybe just at two cents, maybe. Um, but your hopium for this is that it's not a bear flag and that this head and shoulders doesn't play out and you're looking at a double bottom here. So you've got one bottom right there and you're hoping that this creates a second bottom. And let's look at the Fibonacci's to see if that's even plausible. So a Fibonacci from the bottom to the top, boy, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you tried to hold on to the 618, as you can see right here on the weekly. Honestly, I don't even think I need to go down any to any lower time frames on this. This is going to be played out on the weekly time frame here. And, you know, I'm just going to save some time and just stay to stay on the weekly here because we tried to find support on the 618 and we did that for one, two, three weeks. They pushed us down, got pushed back up. We are on the fourth week right now. There's only a day and 18 hours left to go, and we're below the 618 on this. Your saving grace for this double bottom is it has to hold. It really has to hold above this 786, around 22, 23 cents. If we break, if Phantom breaks below this right here uh, and gets down to the 22, and then again gets down to the 19 cent level, um, I, I don't think there's much hope for, for Phantom. It kind of looks like it's going to fall a lot further. Uh, for the more bullish, I would have preferred on this run up here if this thing would have come up and, and at least touched the, the 20 EMA on the weekly. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll go down to the daily really quick just to see. So, yeah, we did get through the 20 EMA on the daily, but we couldn't even get to the 50 EMA on the daily, which is right there. We just got rejected before that. Um, yeah, your, your best move would have been on the daily is after we broke out of this falling, uh, rising wedge here, 
we retested the rising wedge, came down and we fell through the 200 EMA on the daily, tried to get back above it, which is usually the, the dead cat bounce. So you've got your move here and it probably, yes, yeah, so even it almost even reached the one. So there was a little bit of bullish momentum there, but we had the dead cat bounce. We got rejected off the 50 EMA on the daily here, came back down, found support somewhere. I don't really, it doesn't really matter actually found some support came back and this is right here this is it once you got rejected off that 200 ema right there that's when i would have been selling everything i had in phantom just knowing especially because the date on this is well it's uh, just earlier this year in the springtime around april that that would have been a clear sign for me that this was going to continue to fall um so on the daily we're going sideways here. We are finding support. So there is that hopium there. You're finding a good amount of support. I mean, we've been, Phantom's been here since May 12th around this support level. It has to hold though. It really does. So like I said, let's go back to the weekly. This double bottom has to be formed in order for this thing to create any kind of upside. So we really, and I'd really like to see this thing. What I'd like to see for Phantom for the bullish scenario is maybe come down to the 786, find your way back up, test this 20 EMA, maybe break through a little bit, but then come back down and retest this area right here to create that double bottom. So you get the retest, maybe dance around here a minute, and then you can start moving back to the upside. And that would create your double bottom here, which if it did, your price target for that would put you at roughly 78 cents, maybe 79 cents. That would also break you above the 20 and the 50 EMA on the weekly. Let's see if that puts you anywhere on the daily. See, that would even break you above the 200 EMA on the daily. I just... Honestly, I think that's got about a 30% chance of happening, maybe 40. I'll give it 40, uh, but if it breaks below 20 cents, I'm going to say it's got a 10% chance of happening, maybe less. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with Phantom. I, you know, I'm sorry. I hate to, you know, give bad news on some of these coins for other bulls, but if you're a bear on Phantom, boy, you should be pretty happy because it looks like to me that this thing is coming And Oh, that's really interesting. Okay. So another thing is I put this Fibonacci here and the four, two, three, six is exactly at our price point, uh, for that breakdown. So I'll just do it again. Cause I took it off. You got the head and shoulders. Uh, price target right here from the bottom here and it takes you right to the 4236 down here um, boy <laughs> uh, yeah I'm sorry for any bulls that it looks like it's going there and that would be your price target right there at the 4236 going down you'd find support here and I have no idea where it would go from there and this could take a while to play out this could really drag on falling down all the way through, you know, April of next year, maybe, you know, nobody can predict time. You might get a couple bounces here and there, unless Bitcoin does something crazy and just starts flying to the upside for some reason, maybe Phantom will follow it. Um, but as of right now, this looks like it's going down to just under two cents. So sorry for the bad news for the bulls, for the bears. Congratulations, I guess. But that's what I got on Phantom. If you like what you saw here, please share the video, like the video, subscribe. Check me out on, on Twitter so I can tweet at you and all that other stuff. I'm not a financial advisor, just a dude on his computer. Talk to you later.